Good evening, Hepper Spinners. Today we're going to be talking about the X input converter, so get ready. All right, guys, so I wanted to quickly go through a quick tutorial on something that's absolutely awesome. Uh, what we are talking about here is the X input converter that just recently. Uh, you know, I got released on the, the net here, but it took a while for me to figure out what exactly was going on and how to get this thing to work. But I wanted to get you the skinny on this so you guys can get up and running uh, very quickly and uh, move on with this. So uh, long story short, PC games, uh, some of them only require uh, X input. So basically an Xbox controller, for example. So games like uh, Mortal Kombat uh, 11 or Street Fighter uh, 5, those require a physical controller to actually uh, play those games. But with this app, it allows you to basically use uh, your control panel as well as your uh, controller if you'd like. But um, basically this converts all of the PC games uh, onto your panel as if you were using an Xbox controller. So that's absolutely awesome. So I wanted to at least <clears throat> talk through what we've got here and I'll put all this uh, on the FTP uh, server for Emmy movies as well. But what we've got here is you just want to drop this folder, uh, this keyboard to X input anywhere you'd like. And what we've got here is a couple things here. So we've got a mapping INI uh, file and we've got a custom INI file. The only difference between these two is one, the, the mapping INI, when I open that, basically this is the uh, setup for the Xbox controller essentially mapping to your uh, control panel. The only difference you'll see is between the custom and the mapping INI is one <clears throat> is looking specifically at um, uh, analog left key so that's why you see the up down left right you see an L in front of that so that's for the games that require an analog stick and for the d-pad uh, it doesn't have the L in front of it so I'll show you guys uh, how to differentiate between the two for some of these games but that's really the only difference between these so whatever's in these INI files is how the Xbox controller is converted to your panel so Basically, you just leave everything as is. Uh, when you are wanting to disable uh, or turn off the uh, the app here that converts, uh, all you've got to do is hit the divide uh, button on your keyboard, and that's going to be basically enable or uh, disable uh, the actions here. So um, if I were to push the divide key with this app open, then all of the keys that have been assigned here, so my H would be locked, so I wouldn't actually be able to type it. Um, so that, that's how it, it basically works. But that's really going too much into this. Uh, all you've got to do is drop, you know, drop these files into a folder and then basically update uh, a auto hotkey, which I'll show you how to update as, as well here. So. Um, these are basically just the ways to enable or disable like during the game um, if you wanted to turn the X input off but I don't see why you would want to do that because your game just wouldn't be working until you plug into a uh, Xbox controller so just leave that as is just know that you know the the multiplier uh, button is exit and divide key is enable toggle off but um, Rocket Launcher is going to basically shut everything down for you automatically. So all you got to do is just update everything that's on the left here as uh, what is described on your arcade panel. So my H key is what I'd like to associate to the B button on my uh, you know Xbox controller. You'll do that with uh, Pad 2 as well for uh, two players. And whenever you see an a number so this is uh, D2 that's like your number two on your keyboard so if you've got any numbers just put a D in front of it and make sure that all of these are capitalized that was something that I uh, had to work through as well uh, left shift key uh, is special um, and that's pretty much it so 
That is all you've got to do once you've got both of these set up, the mapping and the custom INI. All you got to do is uh, update the lib files and you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and close these out. And a special shout out to uh, Mr. Grig uh, off uh, Facebook and uh, the Discord channel. We were working through this uh, a couple nights ago, so um, we got it to work. So that's all you got to do here. We're basically going to be launching this uh, keyboard uh, 2x input GUI XE uh, behind the scenes. So what I'm going to do is, since we're done with this, uh, again, you just drop all these files into any specific folder. I'm under a tools folder. Uh, what we're going to do is go to Rocket Launcher, and you're going to go to Lib, and then you're going to go to User Functions. So the only thing you got you to do here is um, create a folder that's PC Games, and if you wanted to basically create a custom mapping, um, you know, for your game, uh, you know, which we essentially did. We've got that custom INI, which is your left uh, analog sticks, and then you've got the other. INI, which is your D-pad. I don't foresee any other special mapping, so uh, what I did is I just put in this underscore backup um, folder. We've got a PC Games analog stick, PC Games D-pad, uh, and depending if you want a specific game, let's say if we wanted uh, Mortal Kombat to have the left analog uh, setup, then under PC Game uh, folder, you would just copy that auto hotkey and stick it in this folder and then name it to the exact naming convention of your uh, you know, Mortal Kombat 11 game. And that'd be it. Um, also, if you wanted to do this on an emulator basis, you can create an emulator folder and name the auto hotkey to whatever um, emulator name you're using. But overall, uh, what I did is I just used this PC Games Auto Hotkey. This is uh, set to D-pad, so this is going to be all the games until I run into issues where it requires a left analog stick um, controller setup, and that's when I'll drop that game-specific name in the PC Games folder. So let me go ahead and open up uh, what we've got here with PC Games. Here, let, let's go to the backup actually so you can see uh, what's in here and what's different. So all you'll do is just save these two files and all the work is basically done for you. So at the very bottom here, we've got send input, uh, numpad. That, that's basically just how you close and exit. You don't have to change that. So we're just gonna leave that as is. The only thing you'll need to change is this here where it says switch to X input. You're gonna wanna just change that path to the actual file that we were just uh, looking at. Uh, in here. So since we are at the analog stick uh, setup, the only difference is we've got the parameter of custom INI, which is there, and you're done. So all you got to do is change the drive letter and your path to that XE that, uh, that we'll be sharing here. So that's it. Now when we look at the D-pad, same sort of thing. The only thing you're going to want to do is just go down to where the path is for this XE. You're gonna notice the parameter is not there, so it's looking at the original INI, and you're done. And what we'll do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and launch uh, Cuphead, which is uh, required for uh, an Xbox controller. And you'll hear uh, basically a notification saying that, um, you know, it's reading, it's gonna do the jingle as if you plugged in something uh, to the USB and then I'll be able to use the uh, the panel itself. So there she is, there's the jingle, there's Cuphead, Cuphead here, and it is unbelievable how different Cuphead is when you're using the actual panel instead of um, the Xbox controller. I think it's easier. So anyway, um, that's, that's really it. Um, unbelievable, so you saw that Rocket Launcher just uh, closed the app that does all the conversions for us. You can see there's an asterisk here that just shows you that, you know, it actually closed that application out. Uh, but that's it. So hope that helps you guys. Uh, a huge game changer when it comes to PC games instead of setting everything up. But I hope that was nice and short. I hope that makes sense. And I hope uh, that gets you rolling on your PC games. So uh, have fun and uh, we'll catch you next time.
Thank you.